Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, kind of like a recent flashlight video where I had three raccoons just make an appearance while I was doing a video. Lo and behold, I've had three raccoons show up at my doorstep. Well, a little bit different. Those were the four-legged time. These are the really sharp and pointy kind. Now, as you can see, we've got three different Vostede raccoons in front of us. A couple of them are a couple new blade shapes from a Vostede. And the one, obviously, is from our good friends at the CDC. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that one first. But yes, the folks over at CDC collaborated with Vostede to make the sprinkled raccoon. Uh, they're... <laughs> These guys are having a blast with this stuff, <laughs> which is cool. It's cool. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not really head over heels into the whole sprinkle thing. Just not. I, I tend to go with less flashier colors. But when I saw this one, and I, if I remember right, it was less than 60 bucks. I was like, you know, I kind of like the raccoon, so I'm going to go ahead support the boys over at CDC, and I went, and went ahead and picked one up. So very cool. It's awesome. It says CDC on it. 14C28N, one of my favorite blade steels, so you can't go wrong with that. Definite, I mean, I mean, it's a raccoon. That's what it is. Raccoon, crossbar lock, very smooth crossbar lock, I might add. Yeah, it's pretty darn smooth. Um, Got that. Reversible pocket clip, recess screws, lanyard hole. We sh hopefully, hopefully should be making quite a few people happy with this one. I mean, this one's super smooth. I hope uh, those of you that got them, yeah, I hope yours is smooth as that one because this thing is really smooth. No lock stick or anything. Very, very nice. Um, of course, as with most of the CDC stuff, uh, it's sold out. <laughs> so, sorry. It is, it's sold out, but definitely just wanted to take a look at it, show you guys. We've definitely reviewed the raccoon on the channel before, but just wanted to take a quick look at this one. Shout out to the guys over there at the CDC, but move this just a little bit. But then Vostede sent a couple of raccoons out to take a look at. Now you can tell. The green micarta version here does have the crossbar lock, and this one, the white G10, has a button lock on it. Very cool. Now you can get both, you can get the raccoon in both flavors, crossbar, button lock, but now you can get it in a sheep's foot blade or a cleaver. They call it a cleaver. I mean, it pretty much looks like a sheep's foot blade to me, but anyway, they call it a cleaver, so we'll call it a cleaver. But there you go. There's kind of the difference in the original drop point and now the new cleaver style blade. But definitely, oh, this helped in showing that as well. But we've got two of them here. We'll do a quick spec check on it. Quick look. We're going to use, we'll show the green one first. So overall, we're looking at about just over seven and a half inches long, seven and maybe five eighths. I'm getting about. Uh, four and three eighths ish on the handle, which is going to give us right about three and a quarter on the blade length. Now your cutting edge, you're going to fall beneath, beneath, excuse me, that three inch cutting edge limit that a lot of people have. So that's a good thing. Definitely. Like I said, green micarta handle, and there are so many different colors of micarta, G10, stonewashed, satin, black blade i mean it's there's just too many to list but there'll be links down in the description you guys can go check them out i mean orange blue black green white you, you name it I, they almost have every single color in the rainbow out there and plus a few other ones but you do have thumb studs on this one jumps out very nicely on the thumb studs i do like that blade shape for me this is probably one of the best blade shapes at work you've got a nice belly on it Definitely, definitely is really nice cutting that rope at work. Can choke up on it for sure. You don't have a flipper tab that's in your way, so you can choke up very nicely. Now, you also got to, you know, be careful. 
but I have plenty of room choking up on that. So natural grip. You do have a bit of jimping. Uh, it's really, really light jimping though. Um, it doesn't necessarily grip me a whole lot, but it is there. Kind of more for looks. You can see it's not very deep. Um, it's not aggressive at all. Got a nice swedge all the way down. I like the look of that. Definitely, definitely not nice looking swedge. Even all the way down. It just kind of follows the blade. I dig that. I like the way that looks. But micarta, micarta is very nice. Got very good grip to it. And then, of course, this one, you've got the stonewash blade on the micarta. Then, of course, you have the white. You've got the white G10 with the button lock. Not much difference. I mean, it should be no difference in our specs. No. No real difference. It's a, it's a raccoon. The only difference is this is a G10 button lock version. Now, this one has a tiny, I mean, tiny bit of button stick to it. Nothing too major, but it is there. Kind of show you, it, this white G10 is really hard to see anything on. Uh, pretty flat scales, again, reversible pocket clip, recessed screws, all the good stuff. Absolutely. Dual thumb studs. This one, the detent feels slightly lighter than the green micarta one. Not bad, just a little bit lighter. Let me see. Yeah, just a, a tad. Just a tad lighter on the detent. But again, you've got that sheep's foot blade, or sorry, cleaver blade. I keep saying sheep's foot because it, it's a sheep's foot blade to me. But they call it a cleaver, so we've got to call it a cleaver blade. Cleaver blade, satin finish, white G10. Oh, that might take some dye for you if you... I'm not a fan of white G10 at all. So, whoops. Um, for those of you that are, good for you. Uh, I, I'm not really because it just gets so dirty. I haven't carried that one a whole lot. Carried this one definitely much, much more. But there you kind of see the difference between the stone washed and the satin blade. You're obviously getting a lot more. Let's swap it around. So just making sure it's not the lighting. But you're obviously getting more reflection of the light off that satin blade than you are off the stone washed blade. So dimensions are all the same. I mean, it's the, the same dimensions of the knife with the exception of obviously you have a drop point blade here, you've got a cleaver blade, you've got satin finish, you've got stone washed finish, you got G10, and you have micarta here. Like I said, uh, I like the raccoon. It, it's a really, really good knife. I've never had any issues with any of the raccoons I've had. Lucky me, I guess. But Right now, uh, they've got a, uh, I don't think it's a sale necessarily going on. All of these are priced right around 59 bucks, it, with the exception of this one, of course. Like I said, this one is currently sold out. I haven't heard of another round of these coming. I know the donut fans, will. they sold out pretty quickly, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. But so many of the Cleaver style available over on Boss Deed's website. Like I said, there'll be links down in the description. Please go check it out if you'd like to. But it's a good, solid little knife. Like I said, never had any issues with it. Button lock, tiny bit of button stick on this one. Not too bad. There was a little bit of... Oh, there's just a tiny bit of stick on this one too. On the crossbar lock. Not... Well, yeah, there's a little bit. There is just a little bit. Little bit of stick, nothing major, probably a little bit of oil or something like that. But other than that, I really, really dig these. I, I like the cleaver style blade, I like the drop point style blade of the original as well. And they have plenty of the originals available too. Over on the, like I said, over on the Vostid's website, there are a couple of them that are sold out. I can't tell you right off the top of my head which ones they are. But I'm pretty sure both of these that I have in front of us are still in stock right now. I can't, but I just can't remember. There, like I said, there are so many of them. There's two pages and there's... God, there's got to be at least a dozen on each page. Ten, maybe a dozen. So many colors, so many varieties. Yeah, just go check them out. If you're interested in a raccoon, 
Go check them out. There's a little something for everybody over there. But really appreciate Vosteed sending the cleaver blade, both the crossbar and the button lock versions out to check out. Both smooth, smooth, very, seem to be very well-made knives. No complaints here. And then, of course, you got the CDC drop point. And they're all 14C. Sorry, I forgot to point that out. There still are some Nitro V drop point blades on the Vosteed website as well. But all of these you see in front of you are the 14C versions. So, th thanks guys for stopping by, checking these out. Definitely just wanted to throw these out there to you. Really appreciate Vosteed sending them out, of course. And shout out to the CDC folks as well for putting out a, a fun product that a lot of people really, really, really enjoy. So that's cool. I'm having fun. I'm loving the patches. Now, when it comes to the patches, I'm, yeah, I'm collecting the patches like crazy. And I have an addiction now, so yay. <laughs> but it's all good. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.